Do you know that some people in the past used cow skins as boats to cross Himalayan River? Or that there was an ancient society that used baboons instead of police dogs? We like to put the ancient world in little boxes, thinking of modern society as better or more advanced. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Sometimes, ancient civilizations were leagues ahead of their time, using techniques eerily similar to ones we do today. Ancient freezer technology, analog computer of earliest people. How about prehistoric, ritzy hot tubs? We have 15 ancient techniques, technologies, and methods that will blow your mind and maybe even make you rethink how you frame ancient societies. People are always out there inventing solutions to a modern problem, and you'd be surprised just how many of their problems seem way more modern than you think. Make sure you watch to the end, you won't want to miss this. Leave a like below and subscribe with notifications so you never miss a single upload. Without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1. Ancient Automated Doors Roman Brass Door Vessels That Open Automatically 1 AD When you walk up to a set of sliding doors and are instantly greeted by a responsive opening, it's rather nice, right? What if I told you that the first automated door wasn't invented in 1931 as many believe, but way, way earlier? In 1 AD, the Romans invented something incredible, a set of doors that would open independently. It's a little different from what you and I consider automatic. It works because when you want to open a door, a fire would need to be lit, generating heat. The heat would then cause an atmospheric buildup in the brass vessels, pumping water into holding containers. These actions would function as weights to open the door, like an ancient hydraulic system, if you would. They weren't practical and definitely not popular because they'd take hours to open and couldn't be stopped. However, the incredible advancement likely paved the way for what we see in modern buildings today, at least in spirit. Number 2. Ancient Thermal Baths – Hypocost Systems of Rome 80 BC Laying in a heated pool or hot tub is a luxury these days. Being able to sink into warm, bubbling waters can be relaxing and allow you to really ease your body and mind. However, they aren't really a modern invention. Sure, it's modern in the sense of technology, but society had created something like it as far back as the Roman Empire. We aren't talking about groundwater or thermal water from volcanic movement. Gas from fires or furnaces was utilized incredibly, circulating an open space beneath the floor. Short squat pillars were used by separating a layer of tiles and concrete from the floor's main room and Romans could then add firewood to increase the overall temperature. Given that these were a luxury, even back then, they were mostly used by the rich and upper classes in the northern part of the country. The tiles that covered most of the government villas made heat circulation easy, but the maintenance made it borderline impossible for anyone less privileged to take advantage of the technology. Like today, a jacuzzi or heated pool is a luxury, but at least we can get hot running water now. Number 3. Ancient Police Power – Egyptian Police Baboons Approximately 3100 BC to 332 BC If you see a police dog sniffing around, you know he's a dog with a job. He has a task and no time to play. But did you know societies didn't always use canines to help enforce the law? Hieroglyphs depict a different animal altogether one that you might not expect. Egyptian authorities are depicted using baboons on leashes to apprehend criminals in their acts, much like how police dogs are utilized today. Number 4. Ancient Napalm – Greek Fire – 672 AD If you've ever heard of napalm, you should probably know there are hundreds of different ways to create, more or less, the same hazardous weapon. It's been used in past wars, though not so much now. 
Often thought of as a modern weapon, what if I told you it was just as ancient as anything else on today's list? Over the years, it has had many names, but it was initially invented by the Eastern Roman Empire in 672 AD. Whether you called it sea fire, Roman fire, Greek fire, or war fire, the result was the same. It debuted on the world stage when the Byzantines were attacked by an extraordinary naval fleet. The fire burns incredibly hot, hotter than natural, organic fire, and sticks to anything it touches. Even water can't save you when napalm does its work. It literally hosed people down with fire. The Greeks would create dozens of different ways to use it, including hoses and grenades. The closest thing we have to this day is modern napalm. The secret was so tightly guarded that even to this day, we don't fully understand how it was made. Just a mystery, mostly lost to time, and a terrifying one at that. Number 5. Non-Rusting Iron Pillars of Delhi It's somewhat modern history, our understanding of metals and how they react to outside elements. An iron pillar stands in the capital of the Indian subcontinent of Delhi, and despite its age, constructed during the reign of King Chandra, it stands tall and unrusted. The 72-meter-high, 16-inch diameter pillar weighs an incredible 3,000 kilograms or 6,613.8 pounds and stands in the courtyard of an ancient ruined mosque at the Qutub Minar complex near the Indira Gandhi International Airport. With ancient writings engraved all over its well-preserved exterior, the structure seems untouched by moisture or natural elements. While the climate isn't super corrosive, it doesn't seem to make sense. There should be some sign of wear, right? It seems to be a mix of the high phosphorus levels in ancient steel, which contains a generally low level of impurities, more typical of ancient wrought iron. However, a thin, dark gray protective layer of crystalline iron hydrogen phosphate forms on the pillar's surface, making it incredibly corrosion resistant. It's an incredible feat for the ancient Indian blacksmiths, who may have simply stumbled upon the invention. However, what it gains in structural integrity, it loses out on useful mechanical properties. And while it might not be very useful for us, it clearly stood the test of time. Number 6. Incredible Ancient Roman Concrete – Opus Cementicium, 27 BC Can you imagine? being part of a society that creates things that last, not only the sands of time, but beyond your existence. Romans created a frighteningly durable substance that still stands today despite the lack of modern science and innovation. Opus Cementicium, or Roman concrete, emerged 2,100 years ago, making the architectural frenzy of Augustus's reign and beyond possible. In 27 BC, the Romans took limestone, mixing it with volcanic ash, forming a mortar. This thick substance was then packed with brick or volcanic material, forming the basic material in which they built bridges, roads, aqueducts, buildings, and other structures. While it's not quite as strong as modern concrete, it's incredibly intact. Given centuries of exposure, it has been given through seawater and other elements. Think of it this way, if you live anywhere but the major cities of the US or even just a bit off the beaten path, you'll see cracks forming in the asphalt, something that needs to be redone every so often, or it causes difficulties driving or walking. Take that understanding, and if you look at the Roman structures that still stand today, a few chunks and walls missing here and there don't look that bad, do they? Given what they made it with, it's downright incredible. Number 7. Viking Compass The Vegvisir, approximately 739 to 1066 CE How do you think ancient people got around? Sometimes it was following the stars. But for those who didn't have proper training or academic knowledge, how could you really know? The Vegvisir was one such method that the Vikings had perfected. This runic tool was a symbol of protection made of eight runes, 
functioning much like modern-day GPS. It sounds far-fetched, but they used sunstones to navigate at sea. And these were Vikings, so they were pretty good at the whole at-sea thing, right? The eight staves indicated the cardinal and intercardinal directions – north, northeast, east, southeast, south, etc. There was a nail in the center, and the shadow it cast would point in the direction, much like using a sundial for telling time. It was highly revered, and I understand the importance of being somewhat accurate in travel. It's not hard to see why. Number 8. Ancient Earthquake Detector Hufeng Daidong Yi of Ancient China, 78 to 139 CE. Ahead of their time in many facets, what if I told you the Chinese could detect when the ground was less than stable? This was the first recorded device to detect earthquakes, invented by brilliant statesman and scientist Zhang Hang. In short, it was a giant drum with dragon heads around it, and each had a ball in its mouth. It was so sensitive that a ball would fall from the dragon's head into one of the copper toads below when an earthquake began. This would, in turn, create a sound to alert the neighbors to the incoming seismic activity. The creation was simple but leagues ahead of its time. The first official seismograph wouldn't be invented until 1875 by an Italian physicist, Filippo Secchi, which utilized pendulums instead. Number 9. Ancient Armored Cars Leonardo da Vinci himself could make up a dozen of these lists, with hundreds of ideas that people at the time never could have imagined. He was an ancient visionary, able to see beyond the modern limitations at the time and imagine things that no one else could even fathom. However, often, those limitations meant the things he dreamt of couldn't come to be. His armored car laid a foundation perhaps what would come in the future to be a tank, but he couldn't make it. This idea, well beyond its time, featured a car that was filled with cannons and had wheels that were built to move in any and all directions. It would have been a massive accomplishment at the time, but unfortunately, the visionary couldn't quite keep up with his mind. We're a little more than halfway through today's video already, but still, we have some incredible inventions and ancient techniques that were extremely ahead of their times left to show you. These ancient innovations changed the societies that were created and some even changed the world as we know it. What's your favorite ancient technology or technique? Do you know one off the top of your head? Tell us about it in the comments. Whether or not we mention it today, it's always great to hear a new perspective. Number 10. Ancient Roman Aqueducts, 312 BC It'd be a shame not to ask about what the ancient Romans brought to the world in as many ways as possible. You've probably heard of the aqueducts, but do you know how big of an accomplishment this was? It was a marvel of ancient thought and creation that put ancient Rome above its contemporaries. While on the one hand, most of the world struggled to keep clean and consistent water in their civilizations, the Romans had it figured out. They transported the much-needed viable water from distant places into their densely packed cities to bathe, drink, and eliminate the general. Funkiness of the ancient world. They also created a sort of inverted siphon, ensuring the water could flow smoothly even as far back as 312 BC. The Romans did a lot for the modern world, but it was all built out of a desire to make their lives easier. Incredible, right? Number 11. Ancient Electroshock – The Baghdad Battery Found near what was once the capital of both Pathanon and the following Sasanian, or within modern-day Iraq, archaeologists found a ceramic pot, copper tube, and iron rod. These objects once fit together, creating a device that could generate electricity all on its own. The device was initially believed to be used for electroplating items, but doesn't hold up to modern scrutiny. Why would they have electroplated items? No known artifacts would have worked with it in the period, leaving the historian community scratching their heads. However, the current hypothesis for the Baghdad Battery, as it's called, is a little less anachronistic and out of left field. 
electrical charges may have been used as a pain relief device, like an ancient form of electroshock therapy. It could have relieved pain in a way that they would have been able to replace electric fish, which had been the running technique in Greco-Roman societies for headaches, gout, and other conditions. Number 12. Ancient Floating Boats Cowskins Inflated to Cross the Himalayan 1903 CE When you have to cross a treacherous river, the last thing you want to feel is out of control. You want to feel safe, and that wouldn't be possible for many ancient societies. However, in northern India, they found a way to comfortably stay afloat, no matter what the Himalayan River tossed their way. They would actually inflate cowskins to float atop the water, something that was shared and would become particularly useful in other regions. Many rougher rivers like the Nile, Tigris, or Euphrates wouldn't have bridges built until the 19th to 20th century due to periods of intense flooding. As one account from 1907 recalled, it worked by inflating the skin, placing it on the water, and saddling the stomach with one's feet in the water. You sit upright, which allows someone to maintain control of their movements, much better than trying to swim. These people learned how to adapt, overcome, and conquer their environment, all by using what they had available. Number 13. Ancient Heat Death Ray Archimedes Heat Ray Weapons 213 to 212 BC Even today, massive laser beams used primarily as weapons seem a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? It's like something you'd see a superhero fight their villain. But Archimedes Heat Ray proves you wrong. Heat rays have been used for eons by ancient peoples. Well, exactly what you'd think. A Greek scientist, Ioannis Sakis, created something similar to what we might now think of as science fiction. Using 70 copper-coated mirrors, they would turn those reflective surfaces in just a way to reflect the blaring sun rays down against the enemy Romans. This would burn down entire ships within the blink of an eye using the tar that filled the vessel as a potent combustion agent. How were they supposed to know these Greeks had fire mirrors at their disposal? It must have seemed like a weapon of the gods at the time. Number 14. Ancient Freezer Technology The Akchal 4 BC Keeping food refrigerated was a marvel of the 17th century. The first vapor compression refrigeration system was built and 20 years later, an ice-making machine was built. Not having to salt and cure meats and other foods gave people a better ability to feed themselves and keep things safe through colder, lean months. However, the Persians had figured it out much, much before. They created the Yakshal, a dome-like house in the desert made of clay, sand, and other materials that could effectively trap and, more importantly, maintain the ice. First, they'd bring water from aqueducts and then transport it into the structure via buckets. The structure itself is roughly 15 meters high, with a small ventilation hole at the top. Food could then be preserved in this cold structure year-round due to its incredibly thick walls. Temperatures within the Akchal could get as low as 5 degrees Celsius. Who needs electricity when you can create a nearly modern marvel all on your own? We have just one more, and rest assured, we're excited to show you this one. We've saved an incredible invention that downright could have changed human history. If only everyone had known about it. The world wasn't ready for this invention, but archaeologists certainly were. If you want more unique, engaging, and sometimes downright wild content, subscribe to the channel for us. And while you're at it, make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Number 15. Ancient Analog Computer The Antikythera Mechanism, 100 BC What if I told you that 2,000 years ago, one civilization had a working analog computer? Understandably, scholars had every reason to be deeply confused when the Antikythera Mechanism was first discovered. It was found on a small, unique Greek island called Antikythera between the more popular islands of Kythera and Crete. In 1901, sunken wreckage was explored by divers and revealed many beautifully preserved artifacts dating back to around 100 BC. This greenish encrusted lump 
revealed how advanced this mostly unknown ancient Greek society might have been. After studying this incredibly familiar ancient machine, scholars concluded it was used to replicate the motions of the heavens or track astronomical positions and predict eclipses. It probably wouldn't have been any bigger than a mantle clock but it may have displayed celestial time based on the planets and stars above, instead of time. It worked like an ancient analog computer, with bronze components working within a wooden box. There's almost nothing as sophisticated or advanced in the world, unlike this. But not every nook or cranny has been discovered or unearthed, so who knows? Alright, that's it for today. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forevergreen, and hit that bell icon for more. See you in the next one!